WooCommerce is probably one of the biggest platforms online for selling products. But what if you want to sell digital products? How do you go about doing that and differentiating them from a normal product? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do just that. My name is Paul C and this is WP Touch, the channel where I show you how to create beautiful WordPress websites. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that bell icon below to be notified every time new content is added. Okay, so digital products, how do we add them and how do we set everything up and configure it? It's very, very easy. So let's just jump over to the dashboard of WordPress and let's go into WooCommerce. We're going to come down into the categories and we're going to create a new category. So the first thing we're going to do is say digital guides and we're going to click on add new category. Once we've done that, we're going to come in and add our new product. Once we've done that, we're going to give this a title. So we're going to call this fitting guide. We'll choose the fact that we want this to go into the product categories of digital guides. We'll come down and we'll just set in a product image and we'll use this one. And finally, we'll just put some basic information in there for the product itself. I'll simply use some filler text and we'll do the same then for the short description at the bottom. So scroll down, add the short description in. Okay, so once we've done that, we're now ready to go into the product data. So let's set our price in there. We'll say this is going to be $9.99 and we'll leave that as is. Now we've got a couple of options. We can go through and set up the type of product it is. And in this example, we're going to leave it as a simple product. We then have a couple of check boxes. We've got virtual and downloadable. If we choose virtual, as I've covered in a previous video, this will set it as a product that doesn't require shipping or anything else like that. So it becomes a product like a service or something along those lines. However, if we choose downloadable, you'll see this opens up some additional options. We can also set virtual if we want to, so we can sit, click on there and you'll see that'll get rid of now things like the shipping option. We set the price in there, we can set the scheduled sale price or we can just set a flat sale price if we want to. But then we've got three specific items that are only available for downloadable products. The file itself, the download limit and the download expiry. So we can specify how long this will be available as a download link before it expires the link itself. So we can click to add a file and you can click on there. You can see this will pop up and say we've got the file name and we can choose the file. So let's just say choose file. For this example, I'm just going to leave it as a, an ordinary file. It can be a PDF. It can be anything you want in there. It could be audio files, whatever you want to sell. So insert that file URL and you can see it now puts in the link through to that. And we can give it a file if we want to. We can just call this fitting guide. Once we've done that, we can specify the download limit. So we can say how many times we want to allow them to tr try downloading it. We'll set that to five and we'll set the expiry date. We'll leave that as it. We'll just let it be. It'll carry on forever more. Obviously, this is down to you if you want to do that or you can specify it expires after a certain period of time. Now, you may be thinking that this isn't particularly secure and you could well be right. I've got a video where I'll show you how you can secure these if you're using a Linux server. I'll link that in the description below and I'll pop it up in the corner now. So if you want to see how you can secure these downloads a little bit better than what WooCommerce does straight out of the box, I'd recommend taking a look at that video. It'll tell you exactly how to do it. For now, we're going to keep this simple and just show you how you set up digital products themselves. We can then go through, we can enable stock management if we want to. So if you say there's only going to be 20 of these available, you can do the stock management. Or being a digital product, you could basically let it be something that can be sold as many times as you want and make as much money as you want from it. You can go through and do your link products like you would normally with any other kind of product. You can set attributes and you can set advanced features on there if you want to as well. However, we're going to keep this straightforward. We're going to leave it as is and we'll just click on publish. So we've now got our product created. It's a digital product. It's a virtual product. So it doesn't require shipping. So if we open this up now to take a look at it, you'll see there's our product. There's all our information about it. You can see we've got reviews and descriptions and all the kind of things you'd expect to see on there. Now, if we add that to the basket, it's going to give us a product with no shipping option. And like I said, that's basically because it is a virtual digital product. So we don't need shipping. So let's add that to our basket. Let's go and take a look at our basket. And we'll see that there's our fitting guide. There's the price for it. And you can see if we take a look at the basket totals, we've got the subtotal and total, but nothing to do with shipping because this is a virtual digital product. So once that's been purchased, you'll then have the option to go through and download that from your account. And you also have an email sent out to the person that purchased it with all the details about the actual download link itself. Now, whenever an order is placed, you're going to find the order inside WooCommerce itself. It's going to have some additional information you don't get as part of a standard non-digital order. 
So if we take a look at an order I've just placed, you can see all the normal information is available to you, showing the products and so on. But if we come down, you can see we've got the downloadable product permissions. You can see it tells us what actual file was purchased, or files if you've got more than one. It'll tell you the name, all the information. It'll also tell you the number of times this has been downloaded. You can revoke access from this point, so if someone's downloaded something and there's been a glitch or there's been a problem, you can revoke that access so they can no longer use that download link. If we expand that out, you can see the information we set, the downloads remaining, so we set it to be five, so every time they download this until they hit that maximum, we'll decrease that figure each time. If there's an expiry date, that'll be listed there for you. If for any reason you have a problem and the customer doesn't get the email, tell them the download link and so on, you can, if you want to, click on the copy link. That will copy the link. You can then send that through to them and they can download that file directly from the email you send through to them. You've also got a customer download log, so we can click and view on there, and every time that's been downloaded, you'll find out all the information to do with that particular order, the downloads and so on that's been associated with that customer. So you can see there's some additional information in there and a couple of extra steps that you'd have to a normal product, a non-downloadable product, but hopefully what you've seen is it's incredibly easy to set up digital products to sell via your WooCommerce-based store. And there we go. That's how easy it is to start selling digital products as part of your WooCommerce online shopping experience. It's very very, very easy and hopefully this video has demonstrated is how quickly and easily you can set things up to start selling your digital products. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content that's added every single week. As always, if you've got any comments, questions or feedback on this video, please leave those in the comment section below. We love getting your feedback and we try to answer as many questions as possible. As always, my name is Paul C. This has been WP Tuts and until next time, take care.